question? Yeah, I'm really proud of our team. Um, you know, it's tough to win on the road in this league, and this is always a tough environment um, and a tough opponent. And, and I, I thought we, um, we moved the ball well offensively. We locked in on defense. Uh, we made some, some critical plays and down the stretch on both ends of the floor. And I'm just really proud of our, our collective effort um, tonight and contributions from, from multiple players. You were, Steph, you were talking before the game specifically about the things that Veronica has done. Mm -hmm. to, uh, and, and she played really well tonight. And then also Dijanae being able to, I, I guess, boost her offense more when she does. I just wonder if you could sort of address both of those things. Yeah, I thought um, V was terrific. I mean, she just continues to, to get better. Um, she has a real grasp on, on, on just what we want to get out of our offense, does a really good job of of finding our open teammates and playing with pace um, and, and locks down on the defensive end of the floor too. You know, she, she's a, a compliment to Ty. You know, Ty does different things in terms of being a scoring point guard. I know V scored too, um, but, but she is a facilitating point guard first. And, um, and I felt like she really does a good job of getting us into offense. And she made some critical defensive plays for us as well. Stepped up and knocked down her free throws. Um, you know, Nay, I thought Nay was aggressive to the rim early, and that's exactly what we need. You know, she's somebody who can get to the rim, she can finish, uh, she gets to the free throw line, and, and I thought she was outstanding on the glass. I mean, she made some, some defensive boards um, at critical moments where she just came flying in there. I thought that she, was, she was huge for us. Before you got in here, we were kind of talking about, you know, just the importance of finding players and putting them into the spe uh, specific roles. Mm -hmm. So for you as a coach, how fulfilling is it not only to put players in roles that they're comfortable with, but to see them succeed in those roles? It's, it's really fulfilling. I mean, but, but the credit all goes to the players. You know, certainly, um, you know, along the, along the way, not everybody likes some of the roles that they're playing. But accepting their role and being great in their role is, is what makes successful teams. And, you know, I thought Tiffany Mitchell was another one who came in and gave us really good minutes. Um, you know, she got to the rim. She got to the free throw line as well. You know, she gives us a different dynamic. And, um, you know, on a, on a day um, when we needed her contributions on both ends of the floor. And, and Liv, you know, Liv had limited minutes. Um, and, you know, you look at her stat line, and, 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 and she didn't get a field goal attempt, didn't get a free throw attempt. But I thought what she does defensively with her length, her ability to alter shots, she was able to give BG a different look than Breezy. Um, it all matters. It all matters. And, you know, I always say you got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Um, you know, and, and, and most of our most of the time, our players do a great job of doing that. Steph, did you sort of feel like, I mean, there's, there's no such thing this early as one of these must wins, but this is a really, we really want to get this win, sort of, you know, not let this one get away. Was there a little bit extra feeling like how important this game was in them? I think so. I mean, I think so because, you know, we, we, we haven't played our best basketball. Um, we know that we're, all, you know, at the, at the start of a tough stretch. Um, we've got Phoenix twice. We've got New York twice. We've got to go to Minnesota. Um, you know, got Atlanta at home again. So we know it's a tough stretch, and, and we do want to have momentum um, heading into the All-Star break. But, but you also know that, um, that wins on the road are hard to come by. Um, and, and so for us, it was we, we needed to put our best foot forward. Um, this was an important one for us to bounce back. Um, and, and I thought I was really proud of, of, of our defensive effort overall, and, and I thought we did a, a much better job. We showed improvement on the offensive end. You know, when Burton became available, did mm -hmm. part of you just go, okay, this is, because it happens sometimes, mm -hmm. the need for whatever reason, you know, doesn't have the right fit or whatever, but turns out to be really a, almost like a, I don't want to say a godsend, mm -hmm. but sometimes it feels that way mm -hmm. for teams. Obviously, like Billings was like that right. going to, to Dallas. Did it feel like when, when she became available, you thought, okay, this is, this is a really good fit for us. We did. Uh, certainly, uh, when it when it became clear that that Mo Jeff was going to be out, you know, looking at what are our options, um, she was the best fit for us, and it was exactly what we needed because you know she's solid defensively, um, you know she's a high IQ player and a great character person in the locker room. Um, you know, certainly. Uh, had had watched and covered her career in college, so so you knew that she was a player who was going to come in and she wasn't going to hurt you. Um, you know, she hasn't gotten a lot of practice time, and her ability to pick things up um, and to come out and run the team has been really really impressive. Um, you know, she's she has she's 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 been uh, the perfect fit for us. And then obviously tonight, Natasha Cloud, Kalia Copper, two of the best downhill players mm -hmm. in the entire league. So what did you sort of do schematically to not only just, you know, they um, cloud at 18, Kalia had 21, but when they're attacking downhill, 
defense sometimes collapses, shooters are open. What did you guys do schematically to sort of limit those moving parts? Well, I don't know that we limited them, but, but, you know, we just try to make it as difficult as possible. We try to take away tendencies, um, you know, make them hit hit tough shots that, that what the numbers say are tougher shots for them, right, or, or maybe not as efficient shots. Um, and we know that this is a team that, that relies heavily on the three. And we wanted tough twos instead of threes. You know, we're, we're not a team that can match, you know, three-point shooting teams three for three. Um, so, so we've got to match them two for two. So I felt like we were pretty disciplined in our rotations. We were pretty disciplined for the most part at when, they, when they got to the rim. Now, what I don't want to do is, is foul them. You know, I want to make them continue to hit tough shots. So I felt like at times we broke down in that area. Um, but, but overall, and, and you got to give just individual credit, Ty and, 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 um, and V, certainly on Cloud, and, and, and Nay and Tiff on Copper of just, just making life difficult. But they're great players. They're going to get their numbers. You know, BG, too. It's like you just got to make her try to hit tough shots. And when they do, you, you got to live with that. Do you guys kind of feel like when you're in the 80s, you have a really good chance to win most games? Yeah, I think so. You know, and, and it's, it's a little bit, um, you know, abnormal for us when we're um, – when we're when we're playing teams and we're holding teams in the 70s, in the 60s, and we don't, right? And that's where the off when the offense stalls out. So so yeah, I mean we, we want to be, um, you know, in the in the mid to high 70s in a perfect world, but the low 80s certainly. What is the biggest point of emphasis going into Minnesota now after this one? You're gonna make me think about Minnesota already. <laughs> you know, it, it's gonna be the same thing defensively. Like we've got to defend the three point line. You know, we got to make them hit tough twos. We got to make them attack. We can't get ourselves in rotation. We've got to guard our yard, individual one on one defense. Um, they move the ball differently than Phoenix. Um, you know, they, they they make the extra pass. They get you in rotation. You know, they're really unselfish. They move without the basketball incredibly well. So we're going to have our work cut out for us. Um, certainly, we're going to enjoy this one tonight and, and start watching film. You know, and get ready for Minnesota. I just have one more, which is um, overall. I know you have some more time before the break, but overall, how do you feel like you guys have played in this? You know. First half of the season. I think we've. I think our defense has been good enough to give us a chance to win. Um, you know, we, we've had the anomalies. Um, you know, whether it's it's at certain points in the game, whether it's one quarter, um, got a little bit uncharacteristic against Atlanta. Um, you know, our offense needs continues to need work. Um, you know, I felt like tonight it was better. Uh, we still turn the ball over too much, and we're giving too many points, points off of turnovers. We don't have the luxury of empty possessions. Uh, you know, we've, we've got to value everyone. We've got to maximize everyone. Um, and I'd still like us to play a little bit faster in transition. I feel like sometimes we, we, we let teams off the hook um, if we don't have a layup instead of putting them under duress, getting the rotations from the jump um, and getting them into action. You know, for the players who have been here, um, you know, in the, in the previous system, some of that's just rewiring. Um, you know, for the new players that, that, that haven't, it's just getting into a comfort zone and being able to play like that.